take a look at GSRTB8. Uh, basically, these are the trig word problems, and most of this is about terminology, translating words uh, into a diagram, and then just doing basic trigonometry. Uh, I'm going to spend some time under the Elmo demonstrating and showing you some nice diagrams, but maybe I'll just speak to the two angle types and then just a little bit about diagramming. The two angles that often get referred to as an angle of elevation and the angle of depression. Um, the idea of angle of elevation is if you are here, to elevate means to lift up. So an angle of elevation is to look at up at something. So let's say there's a, you know, a, a balloon uh, ride up here, and uh, and we want to look up at that item. So when we cast our eyes up, uh, we look up at it. The angle of elevation is here. One thing I want you to notice about trig problems, we oversimplify them um, because um, we, unless you're told your eye height and a bunch of things, you, you would not be able to easily calculate this. So we often simplify it by just working from the ground up at an angle of uh, the angle of elevation. But it's always from the horizon uh, in an upward manner. And uh, very few students st struggle with this. And it, it actually does not even have to be at ground, ground level. Uh, you may be looking up at a plane, but you may be um, in some sort of a, a tree. So you, you are in this tree. Uh, there you are poking your head out. And you look up at an angle of elevation to some plane that's passing by. Again, it's from your horizon looking up. So they'd have to give you some more information about maybe how high you are in the tree and things like that. But I guess all I'm worried about is it's from the angle, the horizon you're at uh, in an upward manner. <coughs> you could be on a tree, on a building. You could be on ground level, whatever the case may be. The angle of depression. If you're depressed, you're oh so sad. And the angle of depression is looking down on something. And so you might be in a plane and you are looking down uh, at the uh, beautiful uh, palm tree that's down here. And uh, you look down at that palm tree at a certain angle, let's say uh, 40 degrees. The angle of depression is you looking down at that item, which is this angle here. It's from the horizon looking down. Now, I get that that's not too hard, but here's why it's hard. I'll show you. And I've been doing this long enough to know that angle of depression is the harder of the two angles. Here's, here's the problem. Uh, you and I are uh, up on some sort of very tall thing, like a building up here. And we look down at this nice little car that's driving by. And we look down at it. And I say to you, we look down at an angle of depression of 15 degrees. The natural instinct here is to drop 15 right here. This is really, really wrong. Don't do that. Um, what you want to do is you want to create a horizon. That's why students don't get this right, is it's not uh, the 15 here. The 15 is actually here from the horizon down. Now you have two options what to do with that, three options what to do with that 15. You can close out your triangle uh, here and work in the upper triangle. You can use the fact that horizons would be parallel and you could bring the 15 down here and work in this triangle with the angle of elevation there of 15. Or you could use the fact that you know that this is a 90 degree angle and so this would have to be a 75 degree angle here to calculate what you need. You got some options there. Trig is fun because of all of the word problems, the diagramming, uh, and it's also a very powerful mathematics. We'll take a look at some things under the Elmo. Again, these videos here will kind of be good for a couple of worksheets because most of it is just working out problems. Um, and all I'm going to do here is kind of go through terminology with you and some of the typical diagrams. I have to admit, trig problems are some of my favorite just because drawing these things uh, is a lot of fun. 
So the first thing I want to talk about is called an angle of elevation. Angle of elevation is always from kind of your reference point. So here we are down on the island, and it's from the horizon looking up. So this is the angle of elevation looking up to the plane. Very few students get angle of elevation. Uh, it's, you know, horizon up. It's right here, this angle. Now, most everybody gets angle of depression wrong. Um, and it's just because, and you'll see in the next example why this happens, but angle of depression, if you're depressed, is looking down, of course. And here it seems to be pretty easy. It's just looking down at the island, the angle of depression is from the horizon looking down. So this is good. Where students go wrong is in a question like this, where it'll say, Sarah is at the t on the top of the building. I'm not sure what she's doing there. But looking down at an angle of depression of, say, 15 degrees to the car. A lot of students will place the 15 degrees in here because this is her looking down. This is wrong, 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 wrong. Don't do that. What you should do is create a horizon, and it's from there looking down. So if she's looking down at 15 degrees, it's here, not in here. Notice this is where we wanted to put it before. Angle of elevation is always from the horizon looking down. So always work off of the horizon. Now why students don't do that, and they say, well, that's not that bad, is in most questions there is no horizon diagram. And so they just forget to do it. Let me run you through some basic terminology of the, this, the typical diagrams. Uh, ladder problems. There's all kinds of them. This is called the foot of the ladder. This would be dis the distance from the foot to the wall. This would be, of course, the wall. This is, of course, your ladder. The item leaning is the ladder. This would be the angle formed between the ladder and the ground. This would be the angle formed between the ladder and the wall. Uh, kite problems. A couple things about kite problems. First of all, we often simplify trig problems. Even though the kite is flying in his hand, unless otherwise specified, we kind of think of it this way. We, we think of it as going to the ground or down to his little toe or something like that and that the angle is here. So we kind of simplify this. We think of this being a right angle, and we talk about the string, of course, would be this length, uh, the distance on the ground, the height of the kite, uh, the angle of elevation looking up, and so on. Um, often you've seen little uh, wires tied to trees to kind of hold them. This is called a guy wire. It's kind of a weird name. But it represents a, a way to support uh, young trees or trees that seem to be needing to be held into place because of damage or the wind or whatever. So this is called the guy wire. This, of course, would be the height it's tight. Here, the angle, the guy wire with the ground, the angle, the guy wire with the tree, and so on. We make an assumption that trees grow perpendicular here. Um, suns and their rays are always tricky. These are the, this is the rays here. This would be the shadow down here, uh, the shadow of the person. Shadows are always on the ground, never uh, here. And then this would be the angle that the ray forms with the ground. Uh, and this would be the, the angle the ray forms with the person. And again, we think of this being a person standing straight up and down at 90 degrees. Finally, uh, a little angle of depression here. We talk about uh, the plane looking down at an angle of depression. This is called the line of sight between the, uh, the pilot and the, and, the, uh, and the island. This would be called the hor horizontal distance uh, needed to be flown before you're over it. And this, of course, is the altitude. We use altitude usually for planes, things like that. Let me just do a couple setups here. I won't do the the math on it, but uh, we'll just draw a couple diagrams, see if you agree with the way I interpret them. This says a guy wire is attached to a tree. So here's my tree, here's my ground, here's my wire. A 3.4 guy wire, that's the wire itself, is attached to a tree three feet up. So there it is. What's the angle form between the wire and the ground? So again, uh, here we are. We have the sine of my angle. 
is the opposite over its uh, hypotenuse. That's how I would solve that problem. A ladder, a 15-foot ladder, is leaning against some sort of wall. Here's my ladder. It's 15 feet. It's, it leans at an angle of 52. How far from the wall is the ladder? This is a cosine question, 52. Uh, because this is my adjacent and this is my hypotenuse, I'd solve this problem. Sun's rays strike the ground at 55 degrees. Uh, here's, here's our person, uh, the sun beating down on us, uh, strikes at 55. 21 meters from the base of the tree. Oh, this wasn't a person beautiful tree. Let's do a quick conversion here to our tree. There's our tree. And uh, 21 meters from the base of the tree. What is the height of our tree? This would be the tangent of 55 is opposite height over adjacent 21. And that solve this. Uh, maybe one more here if I got a few minutes. Uh, boy flying a kite. Let's finish with the boy and the kite. Here's my friend the boy. String forms an angle of elevation from where he stands. Now here's my kite. String forms an angle of elevation 37 from where he stands uh, directly under, from where he stands to directly under the kite is 45. How long is the string? So again, notice I'm, I'm flying the kite off of his toe for simplicity. Um, and so I get, it looks like cosine of 37 is 45 over x, and I would just simply uh, solve that. Maybe I will do one more just because it's an angle of depression problem. An airplane spots some debris floating out there. So here's our, our debris out here floating in the water. Our airplane is over here. What do you think of my airplane? Looking down on the debris, I create my relationship here. It looks down at 15. Notice where I put that. And the altitude is 3,000. That's the height it's at. What's the horizon's uh, distance right here? Horizon's distance. So this is a, a tangent question. Tangent of 15 is 3,000 over x. And that solved that problem. These are a lot of fun.